Good morning, hello, and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, <coughs> excuse me, Tuesday. Tuesday morning. It's been a while, guys. I think it's about what, a couple of days. I think I missed the live streaming, but we are back again. So this morning, I'm going to open up the vacuum canister, uh, canister from Sore Hand. Okay, so this is the Kickstar items. Hold on, let me, I can pull up the website for you. So Kickstarter items here. Here we go, guys. Hold on. Uh, so this is like, <clears throat> so this is like automatic, okay? Automatic uh, coffee canister. And then the, I mean, I hear some great things about it. And they make sure I'm gonna put the link down below. I'm done with it. Make sure you know after I do live unboxing there. Make sure to check it out. Uh, price is hold on. Let's check out the price first, okay? Before I'm gonna unbox this. Uh, there comes the 1.2 liter. We have Oliver Special for fifty-three dollars. And then what else we got here? You got 1.2 liter. Okay, here we go. A 1.6 liter. The combo. You got 107 dollars. I mean, it is a little pricey side, okay, for sure. But you know what? <clears throat> Okay, let's open it up and then, so let's check out the coffee canister and let me know what your thoughts are, okay? I'd love to hear from your feedbacks and there should be a lot of fun there. Uh, by the way, I'm going to big shout out to friends at Sore Hand to sending me this. Man, it's been, so, so they sent me this about a month ago, okay? I'm going to month ago. I'm going to shout out to Sore Hand, but now is a good time to bring it up. So yeah, again, I'm going to shout out to Sore Hand to send us this coffee canister. So uh, let's get going, okay? Again, if you are new to the channel, <clears throat> welcome to daily live streaming. I got some really exciting news for you guys uh, coming days, okay? Coming days. So uh, I, I, I don't want to spoil you guys, but uh, I'm going to be doing some little upgrade on camera. So hopefully we're going to have we're gonna have a better, uh, better viewing. Okay, let's put it that way, because I think iPhone. <clears throat> I've been using iPhone for last you know, three, four years. You know, get the job done. But you know what? I think it's time. Okay, hopefully, the uh, hopefully I you know hopefully we, we're gonna have some good screen quality in coming weeks ahead of us. Anyway, uh, again, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, we go live every single day, pretty much. Uh, we talk about coffee. We just hang out. Make sure to join the live chat as well, okay? Make sure to join the live chat. We have a great group of communities here. You know, we usually have some fun. Uh, we, we just make coffee, pretty much it, okay? And uh, what, what, what else we do? Uh, we do a lot of chit-chatting throughout the day. And again, uh, make sure to join the live chat, int uh, introduce yourself, it's great. Okay, let's get going, guys. Okay, let's, I'm really excited about <clears throat> Uh, opening up this because I do have a couple uh, canisters. So this one from uh, from locked in. Okay, again. So hopefully you guys can hear this. I don't know if you guys hear that, but I'm gonna turn on the power. Hope you guys can hear this. So so this pretty much kind of like you know just plain, but is it's fun to use. Okay, and it works pretty good as well. But this one, okay, let's take a look. That's pretty good here. So this one is a little different than any other uh, coffee canisters out there. I'm really looking forward to that. Again, I haven't seen this one yet, so I'm kind of like, kind of like you guys. They package really well. <clears throat> I believe it's coming from, I'm not sure where it's coming from though, most likely China. Okay. 
So they sent me two different sizes, 1.2 and 1.6, I think. Okay, here we go. Here's one. Okay. <clears throat> so this one is a class, uh, clear cl uh, glass body there. So thi this is I'm really interested in right here. Oh, that's control panel there. So let's open it up, both of them. Comes with a comes to packaging. My first impression, <coughs> man, it's not bad. Pretty good. Okay, not bad at all. I like the packaging. Coffee canister here. Here's a control panel there. All right. Okay, so micro USB C charging. Glass. Uh, here's the instruction electric vacuum coffee canister. Okay. Okay, so we got the USB C charger. So let's take a look at the 1.2 liter. Okay. Should be the pretty much the same. Okay, so here we go. The vacuum pressure, 30 p uh, psi, I think. Same manner on the top. Okay, so I like this size, okay? This, this is more like 1.2. Again, comes with the USB-C as well. Yeah, not bad, guys. Again, so this one, you got to charge it up, okay? But uh, here's what we're going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm planning on charging overnight. Just like that. The holder there as well. You can hold your cup. Yeah, let me know in the comment section, okay? What do you guys think? I mean, there's our touch screen, the battery level, vacuum, release, and power. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So again, so this is 1.2 liter, I believe. Let's check it out. Yep, 1.2 uh, two liters there, 340 gram. This is 1.6 liter. I mean, again, the great thing about that is if you have like brand new bag, I mean, if, if you don't want to open it up, just stick it in, okay? So now, we are double sealed there, so definitely it's gonna last a lot longer. So, again, my so far so good. The price is a little high side, uh, as you see on the Kickstarter. But yeah, let me know on the comment section. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, but so now. If you guys are into coffee now, getting into your hobby, we're not, we are, we are in great time, okay? I have to say, the comes to, man, the, I mean, comes to coffee gears out there, because, I mean, this is one of my first coffee can, uh, canister, okay? Coffee gator, uh, what, 15, 20 bucks? Just simply, this is an airtight coffee canister. But now, 
we have vacuum seal. Okay, so now we have like uh, airscape is uh, airtight, remove the air, but uh, comes to fellow atmos like we have. So this is the obviously the airtight, the vacuum canister. So this you gotta do it manually. Okay, hopefully you guys are gonna want to hear this. Okay, you, you, so I gonna just remove the air from inside and out. The one downside of this, whenever you buy fresh coffee, you're gonna degas it, okay? Which means next day you have to do it again. But with vacuum canister like this, once uh, once a uh, pressure is so this control panel will detect the pressure, the automatically vacuum seal again. So same as uh, these ones as well. Same thing. Because of this one, whenever it's vacuum seal is not there, you're gonna do, uh, does that automatically. So, I mean, <clears throat> the key to this automatic vacuum canisters, the one thing I'm not sure, uh, sure about is the longevity, okay? How long it's gonna last. So that's time to tell. So next, uh, pretty much I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be put it to the test, coming weeks, and so let's find out, okay? So let's find out. So, okay, it's on the Kickstarter right now. So I'm gonna put the link down below. Make sure to check it out. But overall, my impression looks pretty good, okay? Looks pretty good. Again, any kind of coffee canister works, okay? So just, I'm gonna remind, uh, remind you guys that, okay? You, sometimes you don't even need a coffee canister. Just store in the back you know, put on the dry place, okay, dark and dry place, you should be fine. Actually, not even dark, just put on the dry place. I mean, you're going to have for a long time. You know, because you want to drink your coffee within, you know, once you open it, you want to drink in about a couple of weeks anyway. So having, you know, the freshness, most of us, it's not a big deal. But some people like me, I do have a lot of coffees there. So because I do want to vacuum seal it. So... I uh, mean, people like me as coffee as your hobby, you have a lot of extra coffee beans around. I mean, vacuum seal is not a bad idea, but again, it's not, it's something you need every single day. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section, okay? I mean, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Is that, is that worth it? I don't know, okay? But overall, I mean, I like the design. So I'm gonna be uh, testing it next few days, actually in the coming weeks as well. So. Because you gotta charge it up though, okay? The one thing I'm uh, curious about is how long battery is going to last, okay? The motor inside is a reliable, I'm not sure. So, I mean, a lot of questions, okay? Only way to find that is I have to use it. So, so you, go, you are going to see me with this a lot, along with my other vacuum canister. Let's see, how about, uh, you say, I'll, Alos Rai, okay, I cannot pronounce that person's name, but what about freezing? Uh, freezing is works wonderful. I love freezing co my coffees. So whenever I got a, a bag of coffee from, you know, anywhere, let's say, I'm gonna shout out to Manny. Manny from uh, Blue Box Coffee. Manny is one of our viewers. Uh, he sent me some coffee. He does his own roasting, so. Uh, let's say coffee from Guatemala. He told me that's pretty good, so. A uh, coffee like this, what I usually do is just, I just toss it in the, the, my deep freezer, okay? Not my re regular refrigerator, but deep freezer, freeze this. And then, you know, she'll last for a long time. And But if you have really nice coffee beans, you know, like geisha, really high end, you know what, I like to give a little more care with that uh, those coffee beans. I like to, uh, What's that called? I like to vacuum seal it, okay? I love to vacuum seal those. Uh, I like to vacuum seal it and last even longer, last even years, okay? Hold on a second, is Ryan mentioned about the light there, Ryan? Low writing for the mood, hold on. I wonder I can change that. Hold on a second here. Is that better? Okay. Oh, by the way, if you have Sore hand, uh, coffee canister, let me know in the comment section. Okay, I know uh, Hans, I know Hans is in our chat room right now. 
I believe he owns this one. Okay, let me know your thoughts on it, Hans. Okay. Okay, let's see here. We have Hun, can you tell me where I can purchase 57? Uh, okay. Puck screen. Uh, puck screen. You can go to Amazon. Go to Amazon. Uh, look for Normcore puck screen there. Uh, you're going to find it. Okay. Uh, if not, I'm going to put the link down below after this. Uh, so it's not 57. This is a 58.5 millimeter. But if you are looking for 57, uh, there's no 57. Because I believe the roulette is a standard 58 millimeter uh, port filter. So yeah, I think most likely you need 58.5, okay, for that, not 57. I don't think, yeah, I don't think that's 57. Okay, hold on, so, so let's, Matthew has a uh, coffee canners from Timor, goodness. I didn't know Timor makes uh, coffee canners there as well, that's good, that's good to know. Okay, hold on. Uh, Paul mentioned about uh, pipe smokers. Pipe smokers, yep. Yep, a vacuum canister as well. Anyway, uh, by the way, so we have some another, uh, I'm getting another grinder coming in. Uh, hopefully, end of this week, maybe beginning of next week as well. So, again, I mean, lately we've been really focused on the pour over with the different burr grinders and, you know, different burr sets. So, we are going to keep continues to kind of explore that uh, grinder for the next few weeks. Should be a lot of fun. Okay, should be a lot of fun. Uh, da Rock One Two One Two. I drink coffee. The Let Anna is fifty-seven millimeter. Man, that's weird. Okay. I don't know why Let Let come up with a fifty-seven millimeter. Yeah. So uh, grinder is coming. Okay, so this is, I'm getting the large grinder, large burst set grinders coming, okay? Uh, should be a lot of fun. Okay, what else? I think we are pretty good for now this morning. And then uh, we're going to do another session later this morning, okay? Let's do that because, uh, you know what? Uh, let's make up some time. So this, uh, this, this afternoon, uh, let's play with, I don't know, we're going to play with something, okay? Uh, we should be a lot of fun. Uh, da Rock asked me how large a burst set is a new grinder. So this is pretty much big as get. Okay. It's going to be a big flat burr. All right. Big flat burr. So I, <laughs> I've been wanting this grinder for years. Okay. I've been wanting this grinder for years. So it uh, should be a lot of fun to share that with you. And then we're going to have some a lot of answer. We're going to have some a lot of answers. The reason why I'm getting this grinder and they kind of like try it out because because obviously, you know, I mean, I start up with Bravo Barista Express or, or kind of like one of those home appliance coffee. Uh, but thing is, because at least I'm going to show you the difference between the home appliance coffee machine versus High end, okay. High end means like dual boiler with PID, all that machine with a separate grinder, uh, something fancier grinder. Is that because I like to show you guys? It is okay to have just regular coffee machine. You are going to make great coffee. I, I think it, I think that's the point of my channel because I want you guys to make better coffee at home. You know, you don't have to make the the greatest coffee in the world because it's all depends on the coffee beans. Doesn't matter if you have a great coffee machine and grinder. If you are using mediocre coffee beans, you're going to get a mediocre coffee. So, again, don't forget the coffee beans, guys. Okay, always think about the coffee beans. I mean, that's another reason, you know, I like to, you know, share my coffee hobby with you guys. So, you know, you don't have to get the latest, okay? You don't have to spend a lot of money on latest gadgets or latest tools because it's not, you know, it's not necessary to make great coffee because I remember uh, I was talking to uh, one of you know professional barista judge shout out to Jay Jay is I mean he's he judges barista championship he is he's a professional okay but he told me that when it's not the machine it's the operator which means like myself okay you know his setup is very you know humble humble setup so again it's not about the it's not about the uh, machine. 
uh, water. Okay, we're gonna talk about the water as well. I've been uh, using water from. I got the cluster geyser. Okay, one of our friend uh, Dylan mentioned to me. He said, "You have to try the cluster geyser." So, so I've been using this. Uh, so I've been using this on my coffee machine and my prober. And then you know what? Maybe uh, let's do another test. Okay, maybe next week or so. So I have a. a third wave water okay i have a third wave water maybe crystal geyser maybe compare that you know let's find out which one is has better tasting coffee should be a lot of fun as well okay and then maybe well, we're gonna play with maybe even like i don't know uh filter water perhaps yeah so we have a lot of options so because the water is key too because you don't want to use your tap water okay hold on a second the project viewer 15 oh snap he's buying ek okay by the way i'm not buying ek okay i'm not buying this grinder i'm gonna big shout out to joe at espresso outlet okay joe at espresso outlet to he loan me the uh, coffee grinder okay so it's not just a loaner short time short timer but you know at least you know i'd like to share that with you guys so yeah thing is you know what you cannot Here's the thing about the buying the latest grinders. Goodness, you, you can. It's, it's a lot of money. Okay, I mean, I, I I'm lucky enough to you know I have a relationship with the Joe at Espresso Alley, so you know he's gonna send me you know something to you know review on this channel. But yeah, because the EK43, how much is that? Like 25, 26, almost three thousand. Yeah. Anyway, so definitely no. I'm not buying fancy grinder anytime soon. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let's see here. What else? I think we are pretty good this morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday morning. Oh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Okay, we do a lot of fun stuff on my Instagram page. So we do a lot of a lot more casual chat. I mean you think this is casual? We do a lot more casual on my Instagram page as well. Okay. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a good, again, Tuesday. And then, uh, I'm going to see you guys uh, this afternoon.